Today, we're diving into what many have called the holy grail of flight search tools, ITA Matrix. A while back, I made a viral video about some of the best lesser known websites for finding cheap flights, and ITA Matrix definitely made the cut. But that video really only scratched the surface of what ITA Matrix can do. And the thing is, you all have left dozens and dozens of comments asking for more. So today, we're going deeper and looking at how ITA Matrix can save you money and find you flights that you might not know about otherwise. This isn't a beginner flight search website, but it's something any savvy traveler will want to know about. So whether you're trying to fly to Bora Bora in a lie flat seat, or just get to grandma's house without going into debt, this video will help you book flights better. You'll learn about how to search for flights the easy way in ITA Matrix, how to unlock hidden deals and use more advanced functions, and most importantly, how to actually book a deal once you find one. So let's get started with the basics and then we'll go on from there. ITA Matrix was built by a company called ITA Software, which Google later acquired. It's still its own website, but now a lot of the data is used to power the back end of Google Flights. But the actual ITA Matrix website can do a whole lot more than what you can do on a website like Google Flights. That said, getting started with a basic search on the ITA Matrix website doesn't differ too much from Google Flights or any other flight search website. To get hands-on, let's say you're trying to fly from New York's JFK to London Heathrow. You can search for exact dates or click see calendar of lowest fares to view flexible pricing over a whole month. Huge if you're flexible, but again, Google Flights also has a calendar view. Then there are a ton of ways to customize your search in ITA Matrix. There's the basics like economy versus business, or you can change the currency if you need to, but we'll dive deeper into all of these options later in the video, because trust me, there are a lot of them. So what we've seen so far probably seems cool enough, right? A functional search engine, but it doesn't differ that much from any other flight search website yet. Here's where things start to get interesting. Say you happen to live near multiple airports. You might know you can type in NYC instead of JFK, and it'll search JFK, Newark, and LaGuardia all at once. Same goes for destinations. If we're talking about London, you can select LON instead of LHR and get a bunch of airports in your search. But with ITA Matrix, you also get the option to select airports based on radius. Just click on the airport you're centering the radius around and select how big you want it to be. If you happen to be really flexible in your travels, instead of just selecting a few airports around one city, you can try a larger radius and search for many more airports. And maybe the coolest part is that you can do this for both departure and arrival airports. If you happen to be flying to or from a place with a ton of airports geographically close to each other, I don't know, the Philippines for example, this can get extra useful when it comes to sorting through many different deals quickly. Now, if your searches get a little too broad, ITA Matrix may time out. I find it works well for somewhere between maybe 5 and 50 airports. Hundreds of airports, not so much. Then ITA Matrix has a multi-stop search function, which can be really useful. If you wanted to say fly into one city and out of another, this is a great go-to tool. To take a quick example, let's say you wanted to fly from JFK to Rome and then back to JFK from Paris. Simply by searching for a multi-stop itinerary like that, you might already save some money just by avoiding having to go back and forth between two cities. You might already be aware, but there's a whole lot more potential when it comes to what you can do with multi-stop flights. But one area ITA Matrix really shines in here is that you can still use the radius function within a multi-stop search. So instead of restricting yourself to only flying to Rome and returning from Paris, why not add airports within maybe a 100 or 200 mile radius of those cities? But whatever search results you're looking for in ITA Matrix, there's extensive flexibility when it comes to how to sort them. By default, your results will be sorted by price, but you've got a handful of other options that you can trigger simply by clicking on them. You also get to choose to look at your search results by complete trips, individual flights, or time bars. They're all the same search results, but each one lets you look at them in a different way. Basically, every detail here is clickable for more info. Seriously, there is so much data here, it's just a matter of figuring out how to use it. But now that we've gotten through some of the, let's call them mid-level functions in ITA Matrix, let's get into something a little more advanced. One function I use very frequently in ITA Matrix is the ability to look up fare rules. When airlines file a fare, they write out a long list of rules of how that fare can be used. Is there a minimum stay for the fare you're booking? Can you add an extra side flight for cheap or even for free a week before departing from somewhere or a week after arriving somewhere? Or maybe can you have a layover at an airport you like more than what's currently showing up in your search? All that stuff can be found in the fare rules, and it's as easy as looking up those rules when you know which flights you might want. I'm not going to go super in depth here because knowing fare rules opens up much more than you could cover in one video. But if you've got questions or comments about fare rules, definitely drop a comment below. Then when searching on ITA Matrix, you've got two boxes, one labeled routing codes and one labeled extension codes. Routing codes are basically what they sound like. They'll help you narrow down your search results based on your routing preferences. 
If you want to only search for an airline or two, or maybe stop in a specific city, it's easy. Here you can see the whole list of routing codes. For example, typing in C colon AA plus would get you American Airlines flights only with one or more flights. Then X colon ATL would mean the flights must connect in Atlanta. You just type these into the routing codes box before you search. Then in the box next to routing codes, you've got extension codes, which gives you even more control over your search results. Again, there's a whole long list here, but you can try things like minimum connect and then the amount of minimum layover time you'd like to have, or max connect and the amount of maximum layover time you'd like to have. Say you want to narrow down the JFK London search we started with earlier to only Air France flights with a minimum connection time of three hours to check out the lounge over at Charles de Gaulle. It's really as easy as setting a routing code, an extension code, and searching. And one other tool a lot of flyers like to use is the cost per mile analysis. If you're chasing elite status or just really obsessed with value, you can hover over the price in your search results and see price per mile. I personally don't find too much use in this for how I travel, but maybe you will. And one last function that's super useful in ITA Matrix is the ability to look up fare classes. Fare class can be useful to know in a number of situations, but most often I find myself looking it up when it's not clearly listed on a booking website and I want to know how many miles I can earn by flying whatever flights I'm looking at. If you're not so familiar, the amount of miles you can earn on a flight is generally connected with the fare class you book. So once you do know your fare class or classes, you can just head to wheretocredit.com to see what percentage of your distance flown you'll earn in miles. But all right, whichever of these functions you end up using to find a great deal, the fact of the matter is that you can't book directly with ITA Matrix. Well, not exactly. There are a bunch of different ways to easily book the flights that you find while searching an ITA Matrix. You could just take the flights you found and look them up on the airline's website yourself. Or you can use bookwithmatrix.com. All you have to do is select the copy itinerary as JSON option in the bottom right corner of the flights you find and then paste it into the Book With Matrix website. On Mac, the hotkey for paste is Command V. But the quickest and probably most versatile way is to install a browser extension called Power Tools. I always use it in Google Chrome, but it's available in multiple browsers. With Power Tools, you then get a bunch of booking links right on your search results in ITA Matrix. The only downside is that sometimes not every Power Tools link provided will work right. So you just want to keep an eye out and make sure everything looks correct after clicking through. But when it comes to booking those flights, doing it directly with the airline where possible is the way to go. Sometimes with more complex itineraries, that's not always possible. When that's the case, you can try out all the different third-party websites Power Tools will give you. But most of the time, you can just easily book directly using either Power Tools, Book With Matrix, or just by going to the airline's own website. Now, I will say this. ITA Matrix is king when it comes to advanced search functions. When it comes to everyday simple searches though, Google Flights is pretty hard to beat. In my next video, I'll go over a number of hacks to using Google Flights that aren't commonly talked about. So make sure you're subscribed with alerts on to know when that and other future videos drop. And if you feel like going back to the basics of Google Flights, I've got a complete tutorial that lays it all out crystal clear for you. Honestly, the only downside is that I filmed that tutorial before I had a proper microphone. It gives you what you need to know and you still get to learn it from me, but the audio quality, well, let's just say it's a little bit better now. Hmm, maybe you'd like a new Google Flights tutorial with better audio. What do you think? Anyway, as for ITA Matrix, that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions or tips to share, make sure to drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, and I'll see you all in the next video.